Let's investigate an example of an object that moves very fast, a roller coaster. What do you wonder about the energy needed to get the roller coaster moving? What happened to that energy as it moved? Before we answer these questions, don't forget to join one of our membership programs. Your support helps us keep going. Roller Coasters Have you ever been on a roller coaster? Imagine riding up a tall hill in a roller coaster car. You slowly creep up the first steep hill. You pause briefly at the top of the gigantic hill, holding your breath. Then the speed of the train you are riding will increase as it heads down the ramp. So, where did the energy to go that fast come from? At the beginning of a roller coaster, electric motors are used to carry the car up to the top of the hill. We use the electricity energy to carry the train up to the top of the hill. When the roller coaster reaches the top of the hill, the roller coaster stores the potential energy to fall fast through the ramp. But on the way down, the roller coaster car does not need electricity. The car actually stored up some energy just by traveling higher and higher. On the way down, this stored potential energy changed to a more active form of kinetic energy. You are excellent. In the next video, we will start with the seventh lesson, kinetic energy and potential energy in winter sports. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new videos.